Okay, so good day everyone. We have here the topic 3.2 which is Octal Number System Fundamental Operation. So we have here the addition for 3.2.A and subtraction for 3.2.B. Okay, so let's discuss first the addition. Okay, so we have here the addition rule. Okay, so addition rule, carry 1 means... Uh, 8 in decimal uh, number okay carry 1 means 8 okay so let's start with example number 1 okay so example number 1 so we have 4 plus 7 so 4 plus 7 that will be 11 so 11 minus 8 is equals to 3 carry 1 so, our answer is 3, carry 1. Okay? So, 3, carry 1. The next, we have 1 plus 1 plus 6 is equals to 8. So, we have 8 minus 8, and that will be 0, carry 1. Okay? So, 0, carry 1. 0, carry 1 the next we have 1 plus 2 plus 5 and that will be equals to 8 so again the answer is 0 carry 1 so that, therefore we bring down 1 so our, our final answer is 1003 base 8 okay? so don't forget to write the base of your in, on your answer so that we verify that that is an octal number system. Okay, the next. So we have 7 plus 5. And that will be equal to 12. So 12 minus 8 is equal to 4 carry 1. So our answer is 4 carry 1. The next, 1 plus 6 plus 6, that will be equal to 13. So, 13 minus 8 is equal to 5 carry 1. So, our answer is 5 carry 1. The next is 1 plus 5 plus 2, and that will be 8. So, 8 minus 8 is equals to 0 carry 1 so our answer is 0 carry 1 and again 1 plus 3 plus 4 is 8 so therefore our answer is 0 carry 1 so 0 carry 1 bring down 1 so then we have our final answer is 10,000 54 again write the base the base two. okay so next we go to the subtraction so subtraction rule we have borrow one means eight in decimal okay so borrow one means eight okay so we have our first example okay so let's solve this first example <coughs> okay so we have 2 minus 4 cannot be so we borrow 1 from 2 so this 2 will become 1 so we have we solve 2 plus 1 which is equivalent to 8 so we have 2 plus 8 is equals to 10 minus 4 and that will be equals to 6 okay so we write down 6. The next, 1 minus 3 cannot be. So we borrow 1 from 3. So this 3 will become 2. So we have, we solve. 1 plus 1, which is equals to 8. So 8 is equals to 9 minus 3. And our answer is 6. Okay. So we have 6. So write down 6 and then next 
2 minus 5 cannot be, so we borrow 1 from 7. So this 7 will become 6. Okay? Then we solve 2 plus 8 is equal to 10 minus 5. And that will be 5. Okay? So write 5. Then bring down 6. Okay? So we have our final answer is 6,566 and then write the base. So 6,566 base 8. Okay? For the second example. Okay, second example we have 1 minus 5 cannot be. So we borrow 1 from 2. So this 2 will become... 1, so we have 1 plus 1, which is equal to 8, plus to 9, minus 5, and our answer is 4, okay? So we write 4, 4, okay, the next, 1 minus 3 cannot be, so we borrow 1 from 5, so 5 will become 4, okay, so we solve 1 plus 1, which is equal to 8, is equal to 9, minus 3, and the answer is 6, okay, so 6, so we write down 6, okay, so 6. The next, we have 4 minus 7 cannot be, so we borrow 1 from 4, so this 4 will become 3. And then, we solve 4 plus 1, which is equal to 8, and that will be equal to 12 minus 7, 7, is equal to 5. So, write down 5. Okay, so 3 minus 3 is 0, so we have our final answer is 564, write down the base, okay. So I hope you understand the topic for the addition and subtraction of octal number system, and good day to all of us.